So I just saw the movie called The Captain at the uh, New Art Theater here in Los Angeles on Santa Monica Boulevard. And uh, it's an old war film near the end of World War II, two, as the Germans are about to surrender or admit defeat. There's a uh, German soldier. He's on the run for some reason. It's not exactly clear. And uh, I don't know if he's actually a German soldier or not. Maybe he was a German private. It seems like that's that seems to be suggested that near the end that he's a private. But. He's running from somebody. He's being chased. And he hides out in the woods and continues to run for a few days. Then he stumbles upon a car. He stumbles upon a car. It's stuck. And in the back of the car, there's a uniform. It's an officer's uniform, Nazi, Nazi officer's uniform. He puts it on. In fact, I think he was being chased by other, other Nazis. I don't know if he was. A, he might have been a deserter. But anyways, he gets this, puts this officer's uniform on, and then he just stands there for a while. And, Somebody comes out of the woods, walk, walking up to him and salutes him and says, hey, I was separated from my, my troops. And he says, how Hitler? And, you know, the guy with the uniform, the imposter, the poser, I guess you'd say, suddenly realizes he gets instant respect with this uniform on. It takes him a few minutes to to realize, and then he starts playing the part of the officer. He starts getting really into the, into the act, so to speak. I do my movie reviews for Christians, so as I'm watching, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what, what a, a enormous psychological impact sometimes the uniform has on people, and, or in other cases, not just the uniform, but the uh, given a position of authority or a title, even like sometimes just being a clerk in a store, that's, that's an official duty, you know, you know, how, you know how militant some people get when you're on the, when you're in a store or something, usually they don't stay militant because they drive away customers, but in other situations where it's not a matter of customers, it's just a matter of other workers, some people can get really bossy and belligerent. And it goes to their head. And that's what happened with this guy, you know. Suddenly he's he's thinking he's pretty pretty cool, pretty great. Because he has a Nazi officer uniform and everybody obeys him. And he goes so far as to start even participating in killing of, of others, especially in one, the, the biggest scene, most long-lasting one was the one where they had a concentration camp, and he has to put on the act, you know, he could have taken, he could have chosen 
you know, to be a lenient officer and show mercy. But instead he chose to be a, a strict, mean one. Evil. He chose to be evil. For Christians, what do we think about it? I mean, this is, this is something we're constantly subjected to around the world. It's a worldwide phenomenon. When people get in positions of power, how they abuse it. And so, as Christians, we, we can pray Pray for such situations, such people. Pray that the light will shine through and they'll repent and confess their sins and make Jesus Christ the Lord of their life. That's our, our greatest hope. We can sometimes take action to defend others from and speak out. We should speak out when we see other people being abused by people with authoritarian complexes and lack of grace and mercy. And so that's our role as Christians to, to pray and to act. To take action when able and necessary in a way that's in accordance with God's will. So let us pray for that. Continue to do our very best. In fulfilling the Great Commission, we pray in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.